Yo, what's going on? We are going to do our recap of the have and the have nots. Was it not phenomenal? Let's just start out. Well, where Veronica wanted to go over to the Friars' house. And the Friars, let's just say Veronica um, and Catherine Fryer are best friends. Well, Catherine Fryer's son died and Veronica has no remorse because she feels that her, Veronica feels that her son is in love with Catherine Fryer's son who died. So she doesn't even want to go over there and humor this bullshit. She's like, because I want to raise a man, not a man that sits on the toilet when he pees and wear these colorful jackets like my dress. I can't take it. Veronica invented evil. That heifer is evil. So Jeffrey finally goes over to the family's house and he looks at the mom and he's like, you tell me that this is true, that my best friend, it's not even about like being attracted to a man. It's my best friend since like, as far as I know, like, it's like he's been around since my shadow. So you tell me that, like, my best friend is dead. And then Catherine said, I'm so sorry. Well, when she did that, Jeffrey broke down. Of course, it's a natural human instinct that if your best friend dies, you cry. His mother whispered in his ear, man up. What are you bitching for? Why are you crying? In front of Catherine Fryer, which is her best friend. You would think she would at least fake it and just be like, I can't believe he's dead. She was like, Negro, if you don't man up and wipe, swallow the tears. They're salty. I've tasted a tear too. D swallow those tears. Take off that jacket and get your ass in this car and drive me home, Jeffrey. And Jeffrey was not moving. Oh, he was like a good old skin rash. Baby, the harder she scratched, the more it grew. Honey, Jeffrey was like, nope, I'm planting my roots right here. I'm going to sit right here with Catherine and Hannah. Hannah's the maid who's become a friend of the family. Because she's just so real. She puts that Shirley Caesar on you, baby. She started praying and lighting candles and burning incense and calling on the ancestors. You know, so you don't want to mess with Hannah. She's like one of the chosen ones, okay? They even told you in the Bible, if you mess with the least of my little ones, it's like tying a brick on your ankle, baby, and jumping in Lake Erie and just going to the bottom. Breathe in, okay? Come sit down on it. Don't mess with Hannah. Okay, so Hannah was giving it. It was like a Venus and Serena spar with Hannah and Veronica. So Catherine and Hannah, Hannah is Catherine's um, housekeeper and Veronica is Catherine's best friend. And so they're all in their living room. And so Veronica's like, you know, um, because Hannah is consoling Veronica's son, because like I said, Jeffrey, he just had a nervous breakdown. He's like, oh my God, my friend died. Da, 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 da. So Hannah goes over there and she holds his head and she's like, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And Veronica, evil ass, she's like, you get your hands off of my son. Baby, Shirley Caesar said, I'll get my hands off your son when you keep your hands off mine. Humbarakanda. What? Hannah, who knew that Hannah had it in her? Okay, gonna sit down on it. I already told y'all to leave Hannah alone. Hannah got that ooh wee. I will beat you down with proverbs. So anyway, so she just kept, she said, I said, stop touching my son. And Hannah said, I said, when you stop touching mine. Baby, so then Veronica got evil, like pissed even. Oh, she felt that she was hoodwinked, baby. Because she knew that there was going to be a problem when she tried to hand Hannah her coat at the door. And Hannah let that shit drop on the ground. That coat hit the ground like a wet dish rag. She was like, here's my coat, Hannah. And Hannah looked at... Like shit going down the toilet. You just look at it. Go she said, honey, I wouldn't touch that coat with Catherine's hand. And then she was like, Jeffrey, get my coat. Baby, Jeffrey had already sat down. He was already having a conversation with Catherine. So, anyway, she um, started whispering Jeffrey's ear. So, she, um, the mother um, started whispering her son's ear. And she was like, man up. All these other women are in this room and they're not crying. And you're the only one crying. Um, you're acting like we raised you to be on the other side of the tracks with Hannah. 
baby. Why won't Hannah comb her hair? Can we talk about that? Can we talk? Hannah, now first you wore that um, old salt and pepper bob wig when they did shake it up, baby, yeah, shake it up, baby, twist and shout. When salt and pepper did that and then they had that bob wig on. That's what Hannah used, you know, saw through that in the trash and Hannah picked it up because one man's junk is another man's trash. You're going to sit down on it. Hannah prayed over that wig like she did her food. She put it on her head and she called it a goat. But then when she took it off, she had them braids on like Leroy from Fame and I just can't take it. It was just kind of like when the lady from the, uh, what's her name? Oh, my, my pumpkin lamb, um, Viola. When she took that wig off on How to Get Away with Murder and she had the white husband, I almost blacked out. I said, now, Chandra Rhimes is really giving it to us too real. Because I have sisters and I have mom. And, you know, I have black sisters and black mothers. And I know what that hair look like under that black Japanese silk, baby. It be French braided. Sometimes it be corn rolled. Sometimes it might be a skull cap on it. Um, you, you know, I, I didn't see all of them. 27 piece, 26 piece hair weave, all that. Seen it all. But never have America have ever seen it on primetime TV. And so this is the two times they were seeing it on how to get away with murder and now on have and have nuts. Hannah's hair. Hannah call me her hair. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. That's okay. And that's just real talk because you know there be some hair like that, but I'm gonna ask you nicely to stop uh, coming in public like that. Okay, so listen. So when the mother kept yelling in Jeffrey's ear, she was like, why do you keep looking at that Perrier bottle? And Jeffrey's like, because I want to bash you in your damn head with it. She said, you have to have hard pumpkin in order to bash a bitch in the head with a bottle. Because if you hit me and I live, honey, we're going to be tussling. So Jeffrey listened to his mother talk some more and 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 some more. Like the Girl Scout cookies, like the comedians, some more, some more, some more. Listen to her talk some more. Baby, Jeffrey picked up that pair of knife, baby, like psycho. It must be done, baby. He stabbed her right in her everything. She couldn't believe. Oh, Jeffrey, you stabbed me? Baby, that bitch is so evil she doesn't even bleed. I promise you me, Veronica didn't even bleed. The bitch is so evil. Evil doesn't... Evil comes out when you stab her. Not blood. Evil comes out. And so she's screaming what um, Catherine, her best friend, um, told Hannah, the housekeeper. She was like, call 911, call 911. And so she was like, bitch, I'm getting my nails done, honey. Hannah, to be a Christian, did not want to call 911. It took her three and a half days to call 911. And so finally she didn't call 911 on the people. So she called 911 and she was like, this bitch just slipped on a banana peel. Um, it's no emergency. You can come tomorrow, you can come next day. But just as long as they know I call, so it ain't no accessory if this hoe happened to die. Because I don't like a bitch. I don't put her in my coffee. And if I did, I wouldn't stir it. I'm going to put ketchup in co um, my coffee. So... Um, she's like ketchup in her coffee and, and Hannah don't put that in her coffee. So she was just talking to the people and then the lady who got stabbed, Veronica, she's still being evil, trying to get my son. He's six foot four. He's 175. Oh, she's just taking this shit to the grave. She's so evil. But the good part I do want to say is the friendship that David and Jim had because even David whooped Jim's ass and he made him look like he was in like a fist fight. Honey, like like everybody in the village got to whoop Jim Fryer's ass. That's what it looked like. Everybody in the village line up and you get to suck him in the face. You get to suck Jim Fryer in the face because that's what David did. David tapped that ass, baby, when he thought he had killed his wife. He is so loyal to his wife. What she could, she put some in his spaghetti, but that's a whole nother review. Yeah, she, uh, she put some in spaghetti. And so anyway, he uh, beat his best friend ass, but when his son died, when his best friend's son died, he was right there. And then he went to go view the body and find out that the son is alive. The devil is a lie. He turned him around, put his hand on his chest and said, if he'd been here for 23 days, and he's been there for 23 days, baby, it took James Brown. James Brown got buried before um, Wyatt. 
And James Brown, it took about 30 days when them bear James Brown. Go and sit down on it. If I'm lying, I'm flying. I ain't got no wings yet. Um, he put his hand on his chest. He said, this motherfucker is still alive. He said, if y'all don't get an ambulance, who told you he dead? Y'all done rang the alarm. You done told his mother and told his father and got the um, DA. What's her name? Jennifer. This bitch scared for her un unborn eggs because Catherine already said, if my son dies, bitch, you and your whole family need to leave this thing we call Earth. Gonna sit down on it. I'm gonna see you guys next time with the Mario Ramon review my way. This is the review on the having the have nots and accident. That wasn't no accident. He stabbed that bitch in her chest, baby. And like I said before, she doesn't bleed. You know you evil if you don't bleed. You are evil. You are evil if you don't bleed. I love Miss Veronica. I have that bitch with me in the alley any night with her heels on. Go on and sit down on it. Why you think her husband, David, is riding down with her? That bitch could shoot his mother in the face, point blank range. And David gonna stick with, with her. I'm telling you, it's that spaghetti. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.